Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we are going to learn how to use the built-in cost logic which is contained in the stat manager. So what is this? Uh, this is a simple logic that allows you to wrap up some stats uh, in a structure to ask a stat manager if it has enough of a, uh, a stat of your choice to do something. So you might already know that logic since we created our montage, montage skill uh, using a cost logic. If you remember, when we make cost lists, we are actually building up a cost. And this is the built-in logic you can use uh, for a stat manager. So when you cast a skill, uh, this series of nodes are passed to a stat manager to ask if the character has enough of uh, enough mana, for instance. So, and we are going to use that part of the logic uh, for the costs feature. So, let's check it by opening up our third-person blueprint uh, character. I mean, and you can get your stat manager, uh, I mean grab the stat manager, drag a wire out of it and type in cost. And there you can see you have a bunch of functions which we are going to bring. Like that. So these Functions all take as parameter a cost, which is a stat and an amount, and it's going to tell you if uh, the stat manager has the resources and how much it needs. For instance, if you if you need to get that that uh, that amount, and then you have uh, two other functions. We're going to start with spend costs. This is the function used by skills. They are calling spend costs uh, when they are when we consume the mana. They are calling spend costs on the stat manager of the player, and the spend ra ratio is how much uh, it should be one by default, and this is how much of that amount of costs you want to spend on the stat. So, and this is for mitigating reason. Maybe you want only to spend half the mana cost, and in, in that case, you could be saying, I want to spend these costs, I want to spend 0.5 value of these costs, of the costs you passed as parameter there. And how do you pass cost as parameter there? The same way we built our cost logic in the montage skill, like this. Uh, I mean, no, like that. You can build up you can build up a list of costs like that, for instance, and restore them and spend 0.5 percent uh, point multiply that value by 0.5. It's going to spend that amount of value in the in this stat. And it's going to be the same for restore cost. It's going to increase these stats by the recovery, by the, the amount of the cost multiplied by the recovery ratio. And then you have can spend cost, which is just the same thing that can spend cost, but with multiple ones. And it's going to build up a simple tooltip that tells you what cost you are missing and how much of each one. And we can see an example of the function restore costs in one of the passive skill uh, we built in the examples. You can go there, skills, prefab, passive, ammo efficiency. This says when this says when we set up the passive effects, we are adding uh, we are listening to the unkill events so when the owner of the passive skill kills something we are getting his weapon skill manager we are getting all active skills in the weapon 
and we are looping through their cost lists. And if the costs are consuming stats on the weapon, we are actually getting that cost, these costs, and we are actually restoring the, mm, the costs multiplied by 10 in each uh, stat. So how can you use this, for instance, there? Well, for instance, you could be creating a gold stat and ask can spend costs when you want to buy something. You would say instead of armor there, it will be gold. And you would say, do you have 20 gold? For instance, it will it will say yes or no, or how much you you miss you are missing. But most of the time, it's used for uh, skills in the built-in examples because it's uh, it's built for them pr primarily. So, but you can you can find creative use of that feature. So it's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.